welcome to another video today. Today we're learning how to part out a set, a Lego set in this case, and we're using Brickstore to upload the parted out items to Bricklink, where most of the buyers and sellers are. So over here you can see I prepared everything for my part outs. The tray where I put the parts on, the cups where I put everything in, and we're parting out this Lego set. And in order to be prepared, I checked how many minifigs are there. There's four of them. So I have four little baggies ready to put everything in later once the minifigs are assembled and ready to sell. So let's open our box here and get the content out on our tray. Pour everything just out there. Make sure that you get everything out of the box. Yep, empty, all good with the box. And we're ready to go to part out. We have two bags, we have one plate, and we have the manual, which we'll put aside. So we're going to open the bags and part out the set. I'm going to speed that up for you now. So you can see I'm opening the bags, put everything on the tray. First thing I usually do is get the minifig parts out and see if I can assemble them, which uh, worked out fine in this case. I was able to assemble these minifigs, put them away in the bags. And then on the left side, out of the screen, unfortunately, there is some cups as well for the finished minifigs. Once the minifigs are done, I move on to the parts and I just sort them by color. I'm not worried if there is another bag with the same items in there because I'm going to go by color. At the end of the sorting process with the colors, I'm just going to put all the cups, one cup in another, so all black ones, all blue ones, light bluish gray, dark bluish gray, and so on and so on. I will show you in the next step how we find out how many pieces we should have, so nothing should be lost. Again, like I said, really just going by color, as you can see, taking all the different colors out, putting them in a cup when they're the same item, and uh, that is really it. Uh, once that is done, I take the cups, all the black ones together, dark bluish gray, light bluish gray, red, mini figs, so everything just goes into a little stack. Once we have the parts ready, we want to upload them to Bricklink. We can do that through Bricklink, the website itself, or we can use a program called Brickstore, and I put the link for the program in the description, which helps us parting it out, but also making sure that we put the parts themselves in the right location in our own store. And I'm going to show you how that works. So you start Brickstore, and we're going to start a new tab. It's called Untitled, so it's going to be empty. In this tab, we want to add the set that we want to part out. So you click on Add Item. Make sure you change it to Set, because we're working with a set. And then enter the set number. Once the set number is entered, make sure it's the right one, the one that we just parted out. A color for a full set is not applicable. It doesn't matter. You can change the quantities if you have multiple sets to part out. In our case, we had one. You can change it from new to used or whatever you have there. In our case, we had a new set. You can also check the history of the current inventory and the last six months sales in this window here. Click Add, and it will be added to your tab. So now we have the full set here, which does not really help us because we want to part out the set, obviously. So we need the content of the set. Right click hit part out item and it's going to ask you if you want to replace the current item with a parted out set. That's what we want to do. We want to get rid of the set itself and only have the items and parts from the set itself. So click yes. And now you see all the parts that we just parted out. They're all here. So you can scroll through, you can check it and uh, all the parts that we just parted out from the set, put now little cups are here now. We have the quantities, that's what I mentioned earlier. You don't have to check the quantities, they're all given here. You have a couple of extra columns and it tells you everything that there is. Right now we have 50 arrows because errors <laughs> because we have 50 lots without a price. So that shows you an error right now. We also have an item that has CP, as you can see, a counterpart. That could be that you can sell it as this. As you can see, those are two different items that we have. We have one here. And it's also part of this whole counterpart. And here's the second item. 
So if you want to sell it separately or together, you have to make your choice. I sell it separately, so I mark this and I delete this line. Under normal circumstances, in the remarks column would be the location of your item in your store. So how do we get this information from our current store in here? We go to File, Import, Bricklink Store Inventory. Click on this and it will import your Bricklink Store Inventory that you have currently. So this is my inventory and in the remarks you can see the location I have in my store. So how do we copy this to our file so that we can put the same part in the same drawer? Go to Edit, Copy Values from Document. Make sure you select the store. In this case, we only have the store open, so that's the only one that we have here. So you can click Next. And over here, if you leave it as it is, it will merge the information, which will mean it will fill empty fields in your columns. So I leave it as it is because my fields in the remarks and this set are empty. So in order to copy the info from the store into my new folder or in my new tab, I'll just leave it as it is. Click Finish. And ta -da, da da there is all the information on where my store has the different items. You can see a couple of them have the red marks around them, and they are obviously empty because those are parts that I don't have yet in my store. In order to make our life even easier, we're going to sort everything by color by just clicking on the column color. So everything's sorted by color now, black, blue, dark bluish gray, and so on and so on. Now the program changed where you can have it's sorted by one column and then a next column, which is amazing. So I have the remarks here and I want to sort all the remarks in order as well. So first color, then remarks. Now we hit shift and click on remarks and you can see it's ordered, uh, sorted now by color and then remarks. So we have the empty fields where they need to be. This means we can go in continuous numbers, not jump from five to 500 back to three. So they're all in continuous numbers, which is great for us when we put the parts away. It's just an easier and simpler workflow to go from lower to higher numbers. But now we also see that there are some parts in there twice. You can see those are double, the red ones are double. That, yeah, how do we put these together? You hit Control, A for all, then right mouse button, then consolidate items. That will consolidate all multiple items. As you can see here, it gives you even the pictures. Do you really want to do it? So as I mentioned earlier, if you have parts in multiple bins, cups, whatever, you can consolidate them this way. This will also reduce the number of lines that we have. So we've done that. Now you can see the total numbers are added up a lot easier. The only thing that's missing now is pricing on a couple of items, as you can see by the number of errors that we have up here. In order to fill the pricing here, it's also super easy. Again, Control A for all. And then up here, get your pricing. You can do current inventory, last six months inventory. You can do average, you can do minimum, maximum. You have tons of different options. In our case, let's go with the last six months average and hit OK. And it will start downloading the pricing from Bricklink and fill out pricing for all the items. So even if I had old pricing in it, it will override it with the new pricing and give me the current average for the last six months sales on all the parts. You see the errors are gone, prices are set and uh, everything's said and done for now. So now we set pricing for all items in this set based on the last six months sales average. You see pricing is filled in everywhere. There's no error anymore. We can see the total number of items and lots. It reduced a little bit because we uh, combined items. It gives you the total value of all parts that you have in the set right now. And you are basically said and done with this part. Now the only thing left is to take one of your items and put them in a location in your store. So I'm going to grab this little trooper here. Grab While I'm doing this, I'm grabbing my drawer, and then I'm going to enter the drawer number into the remarks field. So now I stored this trooper away, put it in the remarks, and that is it. I'm going to do this with the rest of the set and be right back. Once everything's stored away, all the information is entered, we want to upload this to Bricklink because that's where everything needs to go in the end in order to be sold. Again, we hit Control A to mark everything, go to File, Export, and we do Bricklink Mass Upload. Don't do Update because that will change everything. I'm going to explain it in another video. We do Upload. 
click on this button in order to move forward. So click Upload. This will open Bricklink. Make sure that all your settings are correct. I'm using the new price and new tier price and the new remarks. I'm going to click in here, hit Control V because the program put that in my memory. Hit Verify File. And there's the whole upload that you just did. As you can see, it will consolidate if you have current items in there already of the same type. And it did that here in my case, for example, consolidated it to 24 pieces, even though I just added one, added the new price. I scroll all the way down and I have a summary of what I've uploaded. In this case, I have a summary of all the parts, the pricing, and I can hit Upload File. Once the file is uploaded, make sure you hit the Send Out Wanted List notification because that lets people know that you uploaded something new and that their parts are available. That was it. You uploaded your items. Parts are live and you can sell them. I hope the video helped you. I hope you had fun. If you did, leave a like, leave a subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.